Kamusta po? Ako po si Ricky. And ako po si Erika. Maraming salamat po for watching our videos. Grabe po! We cannot imagine dami na po namin new friends here sa YouTube. Mm -hmm. Sobrang na-appreciate po namin lahat ng comments, ideas, and advices nyo po. And ang dami rin pong nagtatanong kung paano kami nagkakilala. So ngayon, tatanungin ko po si Ricky about how we met. Titignan ko po kung naaalala po ba niya. Am I being tested? <laughs> Nope. But just you know, I remember everything so clearly. Even it happened very long time ago, I remember every bit of it. I even remember the smell. The whole story goes back to the point where I graduated high school. After the graduation, I went straight to join the army. You know all Korean men, we must go to army for about two years. Mm -hmm. When you're in the army, you get desperate to meet girls. Especially, I broke up with my ex-Korean girlfriend while I was in the army. She dumped me, like, oh. after a year, I think. I got out on January. Two months later, I went to university. On the first week of the semester, I made a couple of friends. And then we went to army. Ah, <laughs> went to army. <laughs> and then one of them was having a birthday party. So on that weekend, we went to this club. You know, I just got out, so all the girls in the club on that night, they looked so beautiful. Everyone, you know. Maybe I was even, like, drawing, staring at them. <laughs> you did? Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> And then, that's when I saw her. Okay. On that night. Ooh, lucky me. I first saw her near the entrance, walking in. Yeah. With her friend, Joanna. Mm -hmm. Can I say the name, the Joanna? Yeah, yeah. And when I like saw her, I... I think I fell in love. <laughs> yeah, really. You're kidding. No, 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 really, really. I'm kidding. It was dark. How can you fall in love? <laughs> Maybe because it was dark. <laughs> Did you know I was a Filipino? I don't think so because I was kind of assuming that you were a foreigner. Maybe she was from one of the countries in Southeast Asia. Oh. And at that time, I didn't know much about the Philippines. But of course, right now, like I'm an expert, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't even sing their national anthem. <laughs> so at that time, I really wanted to approach to her and go talk to her. But I was worried of getting myself embarrassed in front of her friends. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking the only way to go talk to her was to get myself drunk. So I placed myself at a bar and I kept having these shots uh -huh. you know, to make myself drunk. When I finally had my courage, I stand up and I looked for her and I couldn't find her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> because she was so short and then she was just so surrounded by the tall people around so I couldn't spot her where she was. I think a few minutes later, I saw her so like saying goodbye to her friends yeah. and I think I followed her out and we started to talk and luckily she was nice to me and we found out that we go to the same university and then happened to live very nearby mm -hmm. I lived in a dormitory in the campus and she lived beside. Be right beside, beside. beside campus so we decided to share a cab together on the way back home Okay, wait, wait mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Hindi po safe na sumama sa lalaki or tao na kakikilala mo pa lang that night. Pero my friend Joanna told me, isa raw sa mga classmate niya or friend niya ba yun? May birthday daw na nagsa-celebrate sa club. So, you know, when we get there sa club, they told me, like one of the friends there told me, oh hey, that's Ricky. He's uh, he's with us. So, you know, I knew he was a friend of a friend. So, when he asked na sabay daw kami sa taxi, natuwa pa ako dahil may cashier ako sa fare sa taxi. Parang, uy, makatipid ako sa pamasahe. May cashier ako. We got out of the cab together and I asked your number in front of your place. Actually, when you asked my number, mm -hmm. uh, ang una talagang naisip ka nun is, Oh, bakit niya hinihingi yung number ko? Um, baka may gusto siya sa isa sa mga kaibigan ko. Nahiya lang siya ni lumapit sa kanila, kaya sa akin muna siya nakikipagkaibigan. And then, alam niya yun, di ba? May mga ganon na minsan may, may makikipagkaibigan sa'yo, pero yun pala ang gusto nila, yung kaibigan mo, di ba? So, sanay na ako sa mga ganang sitwasyon na maging tulay. After I got her number, and I walked back to my dormitory, and I was very happy that I wasn't able to sleep on that night. Really, like thinking of, <gasps> really? should I text her right now, or should I text her tomorrow, or what should I say? And then, of course, we Koreans, we don't like waiting. I think I sent you a text next morning. Yeah, yeah. And I was then, shocked. Why? Like, oh, that was quick. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe you really wanted to meet my friend. <laughs> And through text, I found out that she was studying in Korea on a scholarship. She was in her first year in chemical engineering, and I was in my first year in business. So I would expect there would be some age gap 
because I just got in and she was about to graduate. Turns out that she's a, a year older than me. So at that time, I think I called you like Erika Nuna. Yeah. You used to call me Nuna. In Tagalog, I called her like Ate Erika. I mean, I don't do it anymore, of course. <laughs> But how about in the Philippines? Do you call your like girlfriend Ate? No, no, no. Is it really weird? No, it's weird. How yeah. about if it's uh, Kuya? I mean, do you call your boyfriend Kuya? <gasps> if no. he's older than you. No. Uh, so I asked her out for dinner. So that was my first date after I got out from the army with a girl. So I was very excited. And I put my favorite clothes. Oh, yeah. I did my hair, you know, like. And then I tried to look best possible. But the way she came out was very natural. She was wearing a sporty jacket with some jeans. Oh, very, very casual. casual, very casual. Definitely not an outfit for a date. And on that night, we went to downtown and had a hamburger there. So that was the memory of our first date for me. But was it date for you? Actually, um, I didn't know. It was a date because I really thought you were interested with one of my friends. Mm -hmm. Who? Huh? Who? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Why? <laughs> Just no. I didn't expect it would be a date, and then parang impossible mo ka gusto siya sa akin kaya hindi ako nangarap. <laughs> what was that? What was that? I think it's impossible for you to like me. That's why I never, I didn't even dream of it. Why would you say that? That's not true. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Why? Okay. Yeah. Let's continue. So after the first date, we started to hang out together. But I somehow had this feeling that she was not serious in our relationship. The reason why I thought that way was... And actually, I want to ask you guys a question, especially to Filipinas, to the ladies. Because she's been giving me some negative sign. Like, for example, um, when we were starting, she, she mentioned a few times that she wanted to go to Jeju Island. Oh, okay. You know what I'm gonna say? I don't know. No? What? So, I prepared a trip for both of us. And I asked her if she wants to join. And what she did was, she brought a friend. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right? I mean, if she was really interested in me, wouldn't she want it to be more private? And, and actually the friend she brought was the, the friend she came to the club with on the first night that we met. What do you think? I mean guys will agree. No, I wouldn't agree with you. <laughs> okay, the reason I brought my best friend with me because okay. we've been really wanting to go to Jeju mm -hmm. ever since. Mm -hmm. We heard that transportation in Jeju is not so good. You need in public transportation. Yeah, the public transportation. And you need a car and then when you told me that you can drive us around there. I got so excited and I'm like, Hey Joanna, let's go! Ricky's gonna drive us in Jeju. So yeah, I brought her with me. Since it's also our last year in Korea, you know, at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. During the whole trip, we were three of us. I think we enjoyed it, right? I mean, yeah. especially you made me a photographer. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know girls take photos that many. Okay. <laughs> After the Jeju, we went to Jeju in June, right? Yes. June. Mm -hmm. So July and August, we had these two months of uh, vacation before we start a new semester in September. Mm -hmm. During those two months of vacation, we lost contact. Neither did I or her contact each other. Because I took bringing her friend to our trip, it as a sign that she doesn't think me more than a friend. And not only that, from March to like June, until the point where we went to Jeju. I was always the one who asked her out. I was the one who always like thinking of what to do. She was very passive. Yeah. Those days, I was very shy to text him first. I just waited your text. And you know, I was in my last year in the university. So I was very busy in the laboratory and my thesis. And then you came into my world, shaking in me. <laughs> and I really, really like you already. But you being gone those two months made me realize that I like you more than I thought. Then why didn't you text me then? <laughs> because I'm a Filipina and we are very pakipot. <laughs> What's pakipot? <laughs> um, um, uh, playing hard to get. Hard like, to even get. if we like you, we mm -hmm. act like we don't like you. That's why you don't like me. I'm being super emo. Ako. <laughs> Dark makeup. Yung, yung emo style. <laughs> And then I made the song and then posted it on Facebook. Ah, so we're gonna play it. Oh, the way you changed my face. <laughs> and for the rare and unexpected. 
And when, when new semester started, I think I texted you first again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when I yeah. received your message, I was like so happy and I'm like, oh my god, he texted me! And then I replied right away. But that's not Pakipod. Yeah. <laughs> because I didn't want to miss the opportunity anymore. I'm like, let's do it! We started to hang out again. Yeah. And I confessed to you in October. Yeah. Right. So there was a big lake in the city and then we went there and then we got on a boat and I made a confession there like like will you be my girlfriend something yeah. like and then she said yes. Yeah. yeah. That was the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> because I waited and waited and waited for too long and then a few months later graduation came but since my family couldn't come to Korea I was really sad, but I was glad that Ricky was there for me. Someone I didn't know I would be marrying. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know? After her graduation, she's supposed to go back to the Philippines, but she decided to go for a master. And then we were able to continue the relationship. And what got us really close was traveling together. You know, once you like go on a trip together, you get to be together from the bed, to like Can not you just say from morning till night? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Rated PG. Yeah, like you get to be together the whole time, you know? Okay. So you get to know more what kind of this person is made of, you know? Yeah, that's how it all got started. And I'd like to thank Joanna, her friend, oh. who brought her to the club on that night. Also for joining our trip. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, I'd like to thank Erica most of all for accepting me. Mm, thank you. Our love story is also not perfect. But I'm po kami mga naging ups and downs bago kami kinasal, like uh, long distance relationship, breakups, parents in law. Especially Ricky's family is a little bit conservative. You know, like in my family, I am the only one who married a foreigner. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of that, of course. I am very proud that I married Filipina. And I try my best to make Erica comfortable as possible. Especially when she's with my family. So actually, me and Erica, we are planning to go visit my grandmother's house next weekend for the first time. Yeah. To introduce her to my grandmother. My grandmother hasn't met her yet, so... I'm a little nervous. Hi, Moni! Hello! 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 We can share you many of our stories. Uh, thank you again for watching our video. Bye! Bye.